Hello, I'm Ashlyn. Welcome to my one woman show. I'm here to tell you about my life, my lessons, success. Although I'm not really sure I even know what success means. It seems like life is all one big trip from knowing exactly who you are at the start, forgetting, and trying to get back to that person. Finding my way back to the start, that might be success. The moral of the story goes something like this. San Jose, California is where it all began. Let's take a look and return to the levity of childhood on a hot summer day. When I was a kid, I wasn't afraid of dreaming or falling or embarrassing myself if I did. I was most like myself. As the pond grew bigger and as the hormones kicked in, so did the insecurities and the second guessings. Eventually, being a small fish in a big pond at Berkeley, everything turned upside down. Of course, growing up can have a way of making you scared. And while I was learning to do remarkable things with music in a school full of thousands of talented musicians, I couldn't have felt more unremarkable. And slowly, over time, bit by bit, I started to see myself as a musician. Things really changed in Nashville. I thought that songwriting was going to be my way into making a life in music. And so I'd be in any writing room that would take me. Two sessions a day, seven days a week, for months and months. But the more I wrote for others, and the more I told my stories for someone else to sing, the less honest I felt. Here we have a perfect metaphor from the city that changed my life, a bridge from songwriter to artist. I was ready for my next chapter. I was falling in love. The next thing I knew, I was getting married on the beach. I was married on the beach and I'm afraid of the ocean. Talk about foreshadowing. Sometimes we crash and burn to make space for new beginnings. There are parts of me yeah, I honestly feel like I should have known better, but I didn't. And as soon as I did, I left, and I wrote the most honest song that ended up changing my life. Moral of the story was the start of me really returning to myself. You know, I wasn't censoring my writing, and I wasn't concerned with writing for anyone else but myself. And so, out of this traumatic era, came a song that would transform every era after it. I think I'm still very much on my way to who I was at the start. Now that I've made my first body of work, it's led me back to myself, Ashlyn. I question myself less, trust myself more, I don't let the world decide who I am or what it thinks it needs me to be. So if I've deemed success as finding my way back to someone who I used to be, someone who isn't afraid of falling, then I found a piece of it. <laughs>